In a conference matchup at Nequa Valley, Crosstown rivals Wobonzi Valley steps onto the pitch, sitting 3-0-1 on their season. Nequa comes off a win over Mattia. Midway through the first, Wobonzi's Kennedy Metzger gets down the line and squares the ball low to Grace Setter, who directs it in near the post. Wobonzi leads 1-0 with 21 minutes left in the first. A few minutes later, Jennifer Garcia gives a nice pass ahead to Setter, who crosses it to Tara Todd, but can't get it past the goalie. Midway through the second half, Warriors still up one. Nico Shannon Tagler throws it in and then gets it back for a great cross to Reagan Young, who finishes it, but it's called offsides. No goal. 11.30 left in the game, Wobonzi's Jennifer Garcia passes it back to Emma Pulse, who misses the pass. Nico's Allison Dovolovsky pounces and puts it over Young's head for the goal. Into extra time, Shannon Tagler pushes it ahead to Sydney Rushing, who shoots it, but Sarah Young is there for the stop and keep the game tied at once. Very end of the first half of extra time, Tagler goes short to Rushing, who passes it into the box and back to Tagler, but Young falls on it for the stop. Still 1-1 one -one going into the second half of extra time. About five minutes left, Caitlin Narduli gets a great pass to Allison Dovolovsky, who shoots it, but it's denied, only to have Leah Sinise clear it up and end the game. Nequa Valley is victorious 2-1. to one. It was just being there for the rebound and I knew she had a hard shot so I was just ready for it to pop back out because you know it's cold and everyone's a little frigid so I was just ready for it to come out. We need to take this as a learning experience and say that we need to work harder and we need to focus more when we're in the box and getting the ball in the back of the net and defending as a team and connecting our passes. Um, but yeah, we can definitely learn from this and as we go forward we're going to work a lot harder.